Yes, I can. So here we have the Dexter Bank. Always remember when you load one up, make sure your name is there so that it is the correct file. We go to the new branches. So the very first thing that you need to do is save it to the name that it asks. So it wants to just change this to a two. Remember, the easiest way is to just put a two here. I'm going to be getting a nasty message here because I already have it saved. So, yes. Okay, so all my hard-earned work has been eliminated. So I have just now done a B6. Does not display your name. Delete the file and download a new copy. How exciting is that? As a director of operations at Dexter Bank and trust in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, Brianna is overseeing the expansion of the bank into two new locations. Through a prayer presentation uh, to the bank board, she's creating an Excel workbook, blah, 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 blah. So go to the branches worksheet, which we've done, the new branches, and it's got a stack column chart, shows the new branches opened in here. New branches by quarter, which apparently is all these over here. Uh, and it is in a clustered column chart. So what we want to do is actually it's in a stack column chart. We're going to change it to a custom chart. So remember, you begin by clicking on the chart itself. And then once you do, you'll see that you have a chart design. So there's different ways to do the same thing. But it basically says change the chart type to a custom column chart to make the data. Well, here's change chart type. And notice that it's got the chart type over here as a stack column. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change it to a clustered column. And as soon as we find it, which probably this, notice that it changed everything else in there and then i'm going to see if we have to do anything else change the chart type because it makes the chart easier to interpret it. okay we have done that so now we can see that that has changed move the chart legend to the right position okay now you mac people it's up in the left hand corner how to do this but for windows people we're going to click on this over here and it wants us to move the i'm um, just looking to move the chart legend to the right position so here's our chart elements in here, and here's chart legend. So notice the arrow over here. So we're going to open that up, and we're just going to move it to the right, which takes care of that. Okay, number three. Brandon knows the board numbers will be interested in new branches open in the fourth quarter. Highlight the data series representing the fourth quarter. So we're just going to click on this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the fill color to orange 6. And then we're going to apply a glow. So to do it, remember, right-click is your friend. Right-click on it. And here we're going to format data series. So we now have different options. And it wants us to uh, in a, here um, just reading the instruction one more time. So we need to change the fill color. So here is our effects, and here is our fill. And again, here is fill. So right now we have automatic, so we're going to change it to a solid fill. And the color will be orange accent 6, which is the 10th column, first row. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10. Doesn't look a whole lot different, but it is. So now the we're going to do a orange glow accent one. So we need to find glow. So wear glow. So let's why don't we look under effects? And here's glow. And here is the color. The color is now I'm looking at two different monitors and I keep losing my place. So we need to So we need a five-point orange accent one. So let's just do the size first. 
and change that to five points. And then the color will be orange accent color one. So is that, that's orange accent color one. And okay, now we're looking at number four. It says the 2D pie chart, which is this, is supposed to compare the number of new branches open in each city, but finds it difficult to understand what wedges in the chart represent. So they want to display the names closer. So we want to make it style nine. So again, we're going to click on this here. And here are our start chart styles. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this should be nine. Okay, so that takes care of Number four, number five, Brianna wants to clarify that Huntington has the most new branches at 27. Explode the largest piece of the pie. So here is 27. So now how do we do that? Well, look over here and we have point explosion. So what we're going to do is up it to 10%. All right, that was number five. Brianna wants to compare the cities with the highest and lowest number of new branches. Create a 2D area chart based on the range A7 to E8 and enter a specific chart shot. So here we have A7 to E8. So we want to insert a chart. And it wants us to do a 2D area chart. Now, sometimes these charts, they don't give you the full names. It makes it a little bit challenging. So let's go down here and see what we have. Let's go to all charts and we see area. And this is the one that we want. Notice, so if we hold our mouse over here, it gives us area, gives us stacked area. So we just want area. So we're going to choose this one here. And that puts number six. We want to change it to most. Most and fewest new branches. Most and fewest new branches. I believe spelling does count. And we want to resize and position it so its upper left corner is in K15 and the lower right corner is R29. So we want K15, which is right here. And we need to go to R29. So we'll just drag it there. That should be close enough. And let's see. Format the new area chart to make it understand and improve its appearance. Change this chart layout style to number seven. So let's do that first. So how do we do it? We go to chart design. And here's our quick layout. And we want layout seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. It should be seven. Okay. Okay. And that put these little spaces in there or like little borders in there. And then we want to change the chart colors to monochrome palette one. So here's our change colors, monochrome, and this is palette one. Clarify the purpose of the horizontal access in the new area by adding a primary access. So again, we do the same thing. We click over here. And we want access. So, you know, here's different things that you can do. So let's see what happens when we click on this arrow here. Oh, look at this. Primary horizontal. So let's check it here. And then we have access title. And we want it to enter the text quarters. 
and that should be everything. Let me save it. This is what it tells us it should look like, which hopefully mine looks like that. Let's see. This here, that looks, um, that looks correct. Then that looks correct and that looks correct. So that's everything uh, for the end of project uh, module four, number one.